Hello, hello. Hold on. Hold on, is that? Are we there? Are you live? Are you there? Are you here with Susie Rabbit? Say hello if you're here. I can see a few have found me. I apologise for the delay. A few technical hicks as usual. Just bear with me while I sort the camera out a moment. Tell me who you are. Tell me what class you're in. And then we can get ready for story time. Sorry, we're just two laptops and a mobile phone. That's better. Now we can see each other. So, okay, you're gonna to have to bear with me because I'm on the phone, um, which is low on battery, and I have my laptop beside me to have a look at your comments. So please tell me who's there. So I've got hello, hello to Freya in Moles. Hi, Willow in Foxes. Hi, Freddie and Flo. And look, Susie Rabbit says hello. Miss Fossella's tuned in at long last. We're here at last. Hello to Isla. Hi, Isla. Hi, Siggy. And hi to Bethany and Sam. Sam's joining us in September. So he's going to be new to Pashley. Very exciting. Hi, Freddie S. Hello, Gracie Gamble. Hi. And hello to Eva in Moles. Hi to Hermione. How are you doing, Hermione? I loved your cake idea the other day. And hello to her sister, Phoebe, too. Hi to Mia in Woodpeckers. Hello to Hebe. Hi, Mia in Rabbits. Hello to Justin. Justin, you've been doing some amazing work. Hello to Will and Ginny. Hello to both of those. Hello to Rex and Olive. Give us the thumbs up if you're here. Push the thumbs up or the smiley face button and let me know you're here. Hi, Cece. I can see you're joining. Oh, Susie Rabbit's excited about that. Hello from Kit. Hi, Kit. How are you doing? And I can see Stan's joined us. Stan, you've been busy this week as well. I've been watching you on Facebook. So you've all been a fantastic. Oh, hi, Olivia C. Hello. Oh, Susie Rabbit likes that one as well. So you've been really busy on Facebook, I can see. Today you've been drawing using your hands. Now, this is one I need to learn, isn't it? It's one that I need to get really, really great at because I'm not the best drawer in the world. Shh, don't tell Mrs. Godding. So sometimes things like using your hand to help you draw are really, really helpful and really help. Hi to Lexi and Rabbit. Let's Susie Rabbit's just seen your name. And hi to Maya. Who else have we got in here? Hello. Hello to Mrs. Warner. Hello, Mrs. Warner. Hello to Eva. Hi, Eva. Oh, Eva's given me a unicorn and a horse emoji. You must have been listening because my daughter has just gone off to ride a horse today. So first time she's been allowed out. So she's gone off to the horses today. You must have been listening, Eva. Well done. Right. OK, so as we were saying, the Facebook Live today has been all about drawing with your hands. We've seen some fantastic drawings. Um, Sahila in Rabbits, she drew um, a really cool cord on the cob with her hand. That's really crazy. And we had Justin did a crocodile. I really like that one. Um, and Nina did the most gorgeous cat. Very artistic is Anina. And Eva, Eva, you did a cactus, but he was the most smiley, spiky cactus I think I've ever seen. So well done. Well done for joining in. We've had some brilliant challenges this week. I've really enjoyed watching some of you do sharing the videos of your throwing and aiming look like great fun in the garden and well done for joining in with bingo with mrs butler we went through our games and we got some games out and we played them as a family as well <gasps> olivia's got a wobbly tooth dear me oh we yeah we we don't like wobbly teeth we don't like wobbly teeth no keep that in your mouth olivia Hello to Eva and Moles. Hi to Jessica and Squirrels. I love seeing your photos on Facebook. Hi to Lexi in Hedgehogs. Well done to all of you. So it is story time. I'm not sure how long my battery is going to last on my phone. So what book are we going to read? Now, I had an ex-pupil. She used to be in Badgers, Daisy. 
and she wanted me to read The Queen's Knickers because whenever I used to read it to that class, they laughed and laughed and laughed and they, th oh, you've just seen Olaf getting all excited. Hello to Olaf. Um, and they love that book, but I haven't got it at home, Daisy. I'm really sorry. It's still in school and I haven't got it with me. So I had a think, I haven't got many books now because most of my favourite books and my children's favourite books have gone up to my classroom and they sit in my classroom for all the children to enjoy. So, hi Oscar and Finn. Today I have rummaged around and found a book that I think the parents might enjoy as much as the children. And it's one of my favourites. It's one of my children's favourites. And in fact, my daughter came down just before she went out and she said, what are you reading today? And I showed her the book and she went, oh, I love that book. So it's one of their favourites from when they were young. And I did actually read it to the rabbits class just before lockdown. So I wonder if they'll... Oh, Susie Rabbit's excited again. There's Alba. Hello to Alba. Let's see who else we've got here. Hi to Oscar and Badgers. Let's see, keep saying your names and let me know what class you're in. And if you want to send Susie Rabbit some love, hit the heart button and tell her you love her. Okay, hi Lilia, lovely, thank you for joining and I've been looking forward to, been enjoying seeing your photos on Facebook. There we go, right. Okay, so what is the book I'm going to share with you? Susie Rabbit, do you, you want to listen? You want to, you're going to sit nicely then. Are you going to sit nicely? Susie Rabbit is going to sit nicely and listen in. I'm just going to put her down here so that she can hear the story. Okay, and the story I'm going to share with you is, you might have heard this quite a few times over the last couple of eight weeks. Five minutes peace. And yes, it's one of the large families. I know lots of people like this book. Give me a thumbs up if you like this book and you enjoy it. If you've not heard it before, get yourself comfortable, sit down, and we're going to read our favourite story, Five Minutes Peace. Okay, and it's written, the author is Jill Murphy. So, here we go. Yeah, I always like to show the opening pages. Sorry, my phone camera is not as great as my laptop one, so we'll make it work. Like to see you've got your thumbs up. Well done. The children were having breakfast. This was not a pleasant sight. Now, my children are a bit older now. They're 14 and 16. But I remember breakfasts like this. And in fact, the kitchen looks a little bit like this every morning when they come down and make their own breakfasts now. So you can see there's cornflakes on the floor. Oh, it's got a bowl on his head. He's having fun pouring his cereal at a high height. And we've got all the toys. What I would call a typical family breakfast. We know that, don't we? Mrs. Large took a tray from the cupboard. She set it with a teapot, a milk jug, her favourite cup and saucer, because we all know a cup of tea tastes nicer out of your favourite mug or cup, a plate of marmalade toast and a leftover cake from yesterday. Mm -mm, that sounds like a good breakfast. I'm glad you like this as well, Kit. She stuffed the morning newspaper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door and there she is you can see her there getting her breakfast ready um where are you going with that tray mum asked laura uh to the bathroom said mrs large why asked the other two children because i want fun minutes peace from you lot said mrs large that's why 
Ooh, she needs a little bit of peace and quiet. Oh, Freddie's got this book. Well done, Freddie. I bet you love it as much as I do. I bet mum does as well. Uh, can we come? Asked Lester as they trailed behind up the stairs. No, said Mrs. Large. You can't. Uh, well, what shall we do then? Asked Laura. You can play downstairs by yourselves, said Mrs. Large. And keep an eye on the baby. I'm not a baby, muttered the little one. There she is, ready for her five minutes peace. Mrs. Large ran a deep, hot bath. She emptied half a bottle of bath foam into the water plonked on her bath hat and got in. Oh, she poured herself a cup of tea and lay back with her eyes closed. It was heaven. Oh, I bet she is really enjoying that peaceful soak in the bath with her cup of tea out of her favourite favourite cup and saucer. So what do you think is going to happen next? Hmm? Do you think she's going to have 10 minutes peace? 15 minutes peace? 20 minutes peace? Well that would, that would be a miracle wouldn't it mums and dads out there? What do you think is going to happen next? I bet some of you know. Are you ready? asked Lester. Mrs. Large opened one eye and said, must you? Oh, I've been practicing, said Lester, and you told me to. Can I please just for one minute? Oh, said Mrs. Large, go on then. So Lester played. And he played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star three and a half times. Do you think? Do you think that was a bit longer than one minute? I think so. But he had been practicing. He was Perseverance Penguin, wasn't he? Now, do you think she's going to get her five minutes piece now? Oh, Oscar says his mummy would like five minutes. I think she'd like longer than five minutes piece, Oscar. Let's see if she's going to have some peace and quiet now. What do you think is going to happen, hey? Let's find out. <gasps> In came Laura. Ah, ah, Mum, can I read you a page from my reading book? She asked. No, Laura, said Mrs. Large. Go on, all of you, off downstairs. Oh, but you let Lester play his tune, said Laura. I heard you like him better than me. It's not fair. <sighs> oh, don't be silly, Laura, said Mrs. Ch Large. Of course I don't. Go on then, just one page. So Laura read. And she read four and a half pages of Little Red Riding Hood. <gasps> Fantastic. Great reading, Laura. But Mrs. Large, she's not getting her five minutes piece, is she? Let's see. Perhaps Laura and Lester will leave her alone now. Do you think she's going to have, have a rest? She's going to have her five minutes piece? Let's find out. Oh. In came the little one Is that there? with a trunk full of toys. Not a handful because he's carrying it with his trunk. I like that with a trunk full of toys. For you, he beamed. 
flinging them all into the bath water. Oh, thank you, dear, said Mrs. Large, weakly. And there she is with all the extra toys in the bath. I remember that feeling. Um, there they all are, all three in the bathroom with her. Um, can, can I see the cartoons in the paper? asked Laura. Uh, can, can I have the cake? asked Lester. Can I get in with you? asked the little one. Mrs. Large groaned. Oh, hello to Scarlett. She is looking to join Pashley in September. Fantastic, Scarlett. Welcome and thank you for joining us. So Mrs. Large groaned. Do you think Mrs. Large is feeling happy now or do you think she is feeling oh, a little bit fed up? Let's find out, shall we? What do you think is going to happen next? Oh, there we go. In the end, they all got in. The little one was in such a hurry that he forgot to take his pyjamas off. Oh, he got in the bath with his pyjamas on. Now, that used to be my children's little treat. If they'd earned all their stickers on their star chart and they'd had a really great day, they could get in the bath with their socks on. Top tip to parents, they absolutely loved it. And there they all are, having lots of fun with their trunks in the bath. There you go. Mrs Large got out. She dried herself. You see herself there? She's got a nice big pink towel, but her face is showing she's not too happy. She's, you're quite right. Finn says she's a bit fed up. I think you're right there. Mrs. Large got out. She dried herself, put on her dressing gown and headed for the door. Uh, where are you going now, Mum? asked Laura. To the kitchen, said Mrs. Large. Why? asked Lester. Oh, because I want five minutes peace from you lot said mrs large that's why there she is putting her dressing gown on ready to go downstairs and off she went downstairs where she had three minutes and 45 seconds of peace before they all came to join her there you go, she's having, she's got her cup of tea, she's reading the newspaper and she's having three minutes and 45 seconds of peace. She is a lucky mum when you've got three children at home. There she is. And what do you think is going to happen next? What do you think? Here they come. Can you see? There's Lester. Oh no, there's, that's not Lester, that's Le. yes, there's Lester. I've forgotten this one's name. What's her name? Can you remember? Type it in. Is it Lucy? Linda? I know it begins with L. I've completely gone blank. And here comes little one. He's taken his pyjamas off and they're all traipsing wet from the bath to join mum in the kitchen. Because all she wanted was... Five minutes peace. Fantastic book. I hope you enjoyed it. I know lots of you have been brilliant um, while we've all been working from home. I just give you both all a double thumbs up because lots of your mums and dads have been working at home and they've been busy and they can't be with you all the time. And that's really hard to understand because normally you're at school or they're at work. And it's really hard to understand that mummies and daddies have to do their own work as well. Even my children who are older have to understand that sometimes I have to get on and do things for you guys. So well done for giving your mums and dads a bit of time to get on with their work and giving them five minutes peace. And also well done for the work you have been doing with mums and dads. They, you are all fantastic. You've all been brilliant. I'm so proud of all of you. So... 
that is the end of our story. Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I think five minutes peace might be my motto for the rest of the day. Here's Susie Rabbit come to say hello and goodbye to a few more. Who have we got here? Who have we got here? Oh, Laura, thank you very much, Lexi. Yes, you're right. And to Flo and Freddie, you're right. It is Laura. Silly old me. When mine went blank a little bit. I knew it began with an L. So don't forget next Tuesday, next Tuesday, it is story time at two o'clock with Mrs. Guy. Yes, I knew you'd get excited. You like Mrs. Guy, don't you? And if you are, Mrs. Guy was one of our trainee teachers this year. So if you were in rabbits or badgers class, you will know Mrs. Guy, but you will also know Mrs. Guy from doing the PE after school club that lots of you went to. And she's also helped out in lots of classes doing PE or helping out. So tune in on Tuesday to see Mrs. Guy. And then on Thursday, it's Mrs. Wilkinson. So if you are in Rabbit uh, Robin's class, Mrs. Wilkinson has been training in with Mr. McInnes and with the Robins. So tune in and she is going to do a whole school challenge linked to caterpillars and butterflies. Now, I can't imagine what book she might choose to read if she chooses one, but tune in to find out the whole school activity at 11 o'clock on Thursday for caterpillars and butterflies. I know Austin and Fletcher have got their own caterpillars at home at the moment and they're watching them chomp, chomp, chomp and get bigger and bigger. I wonder what they're going to turn into. Um, so join in with that. Lots of you have been finding different things in the garden linked to um, caterpillars. So join in. Who knows what she's going to do, but it sounds like fun. Hello to Lexi, Elijah and Hudson, ex Pashley pupils. It's been lovely to see your videos, guys, and to see all you all so grown up. Um, glad you enjoyed it, Freddie S. Well done, Justin. So I just want to say, just got two children's birthdays to say to, and it is Jasper in Fox's class. It's his birthday on the 17th. So in three days time, Jasper's birthday. So happy birthday, Jasper. Susie Rabbit, excited about a birth. We like a birthday, don't we? We do like a birthday. We like to sing, don't we? But we like the cake best. Yeah, we love the cake best. And then next Tuesday is in Rabbit's class. Yes, in Rabbit's class. It is Kira in Rabbit's class. She's going to be five on Tuesday the 19th. So happy birthday to you guys. Have a really special day and enjoy. Everybody take care. Uh, what day is it today? Thursday. One more day of the week to go and then a nice weekend. Look after yourselves. See you all very soon. You want to say goodbye? You want to say goodbye? Oh, and do you want to say goodbye to my little Luna, who is being? She is being such a good girl. Gives me a big thumbs, 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 thumbs. Hit the thumbs button if you would like to see Luna, who has been in the room fast asleep while we've been reading our story. And you might not be able to see her. Let me just show you. You just, you'll see the laptop. Here we are. Can you see her? I can't see what you can see. Hold on one moment. She is sat in the window. This is her favourite spot all day. Sat in the window. I don't know if you can see her. There she is, sat in the window. Say hello, loons. Fast asleep. Here's her teddy bear. She has her own teddy bear. Oh, let me do it at this angle. You might be able to see her a bit better away from the sun. The light. Looney Tunes, what's this? Here she is, curled up on the back of the sofa, watching the world go by. So, for me and Luna, a very good bye. Take care, look after yourselves, and I hope to see you all very, very soon. Bye!